Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. There are some things that I want to check out in today's episode. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. No more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. All right, so apparently now we can ask Infochan to increase our reputation, to decrease our rival's reputation, obtain information about a student, and delay the police when they're on route to school. Okay, so let me talk to her real need? quick. Let me ask her for some services. Provide student info, improve my reputation. It says this service can be performed multiple times in one day. Okay, so let me get some panties. There you go. And how many panties do what I have? What do you need? I have 20 panties. Okay, that's a shitload of panties. So let's improve our reputation. Let's see how high it goes. Bruh. Plus five. Are you dicking my balls? Plus five. I'll tell my informants to spread some praise for you around school. Don't let their work go to waste. Well, it felt like a waste of panties because I only got a plus five. I thought I would get like a plus 100. The needle didn't even look like it moved up an inch. But let's try to damage our rival's reputation. It says, damage your rival's reputation by five points. Reputation can become a negative number. If your rival's reputation drops below 100, Senpai will not be able to accept her love confession. If her reputation drops below 150, she will commit woe. Okay, so let's purchase that. I'll instruct my informants to badmouth the girl who has her eye on your senpai. Hopefully this will help you out. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get somebody to witnessing me ending somebody's life, foo. Let me get my knife, foo, because you know that's what I gotta do. And we're just gonna go for one of these girls over here. Gotcha, bitch. Bam! Go ahead, take a picture. Let me strike a pose. Hey, girls. Okay, I'm gonna let the timer run out. Actually, wait. Wait. What do you We have to delay the police. So where is it? The service is only available if the police are en route to school. Infochan calls the police and tells them that the murderer they are looking for was spotted leaving the school. This will cause the police to search the outside area of the school for five minutes before entering. Okay, so that one is extremely valuable. And it costs you 20 freaking panties. You know how many panties I gotta take a picture of to get 20 panties? So let me get some panties right here. There you go. Oh my god. Exposed. Alright, here we go again. They're taking the pictures. Gonna increase the panty stock that I have. And what then we need? are going to delay the police. Why won't it let me delay the police? The service is only available if the police are en route to school. Oh, so they're making a phone call. But then once the phone call is made, then I get a game over. Okay, that makes sense. So it doesn't work with the bullies. We need to get a teacher's pet because, you know, those guys are snitches and they're bitches. So uh, we are going are to go for this okay. green haired fucker right here. He's going to follow me to the good stuff. And then, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna wait for one of the bullies to stay right here. There you go, the purple-haired girl. <laughs> oh my god, more people are here. Fuck, 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 come on. Teacher's pet, hurry the fuck up. You gotta get a teacher, come on. I can't hold these people off forever, fuck. You're not gonna tell anybody. No, no more phone calls. There you go. There's been a death at Academy High School. We need help right away. All right, so the police are coming. So let me get the panties. There you go. What and do then you need? services delay police. And now we have nine minutes and 56 seconds. We can do a whole cleanup crew with all these bodies over here with that much time. So I feel like delaying the police need? is the most useful service that Infochan has to offer. But as you guys can see right here, there are a ton of question marks. So I can't wait to see what these question marks are going to be filled with in terms of the services. Another thing that I want to check out, guys, is that somewhere in this school is a DDR machine. If you guys don't know what that means, DDR stands for Dance Dance Revolution. And I kid you not, when I was in high school, I was the freaking man at that game. Like, if there was a DDR machine right now, you did not want these problems. Oh, it's right here. Yes, it's inside here. I want to dance on it. I want to go up, left, right, down. Come on. Oh, you can't click on it. Oh, that would be so freaking cool if you could just, like, start dancing. And you have to press, like, the movement keys for the dancing. Uh, come on, Yandere Dev. You gotta make this functional, please. I beg you. So as you guys can see right here, it says, Kakona will now react to Yandere-chan eavesdropping on her private Monday phone call. This is relevant because Osana's phone call uses the same code. So here comes Kakona with her big old fun bags right now. And let's eavesdrop. <laughs> Uh, this is supposed to be a private conversation. Oh, never mind. We'll finish this another time. So she doesn't even finish her phone call. So we're never gonna know about, like, the Shisuda Town thing because she caught us eavesdropping. So now one of two things are gonna happen. I'm either gonna sneak and listen in on the conversation and not get caught and then learn the information about Shisuda Town. 
or I'm gonna Bruh. get caught eavesdropping and then I'll never know the information. So that's crucial because Osana's probably gonna have like some information that we need to know to like frame her and hopefully eliminate her in a peaceful way. But then if she catches us eavesdropping, then we missed our window of opportunity to get her in another elimination method. So that's pretty cool. But speaking of eavesdropping, check this out guys. So as you guys can see right here, Kakona is taking her phone call. I'm just gonna step out into the spotlight and she school. sees me right now, come on. Nope. I'm right next to you. I like am I inside you. Point. How do you not notice me? I am in you right now. I am part Kakona. There you go. She caught me eavesdropping. She said, uh, this is supposed to be a private conversation. Oh, never mind. We'll finish this another time. So instead of her walking her candy ass back to her group like she's somebody, we are going to apologize right now. I swear I wasn't eavesdropping. I was just passing by. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I guess... And she doesn't continue her phone call. Well, fuck you too then. Before we check out the last thing that I wanted to see in this update, there are some new things going on in my favorite club. All right, we got some like, uh, some maids or something? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Ho hold on. <laughs> I, I, I thought I saw some maids, but you know, I saw something spectacular. What is this? These are some, uh, some dolls that kind of look like rivals in the game. I'm so sorry, guys. I really do apologize that I'm not catching any of these references. If you're screaming at the screen right now and you're like, Jay, these people are from blah, 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 blah. I'm so sorry. Like, hopefully you guys still love me, even though, like, I have no idea who this is. I mean, I know what this says. This says, Jay is the best. Comment, like, subscribe. But if you guys know where these people are from, please let me know. But other than that, there is a new cassette in the game, and I want to check it out because obviously we love the lore of Yandere Simulator. We want to know more and more about it. So I got to do a little investigating because I have no idea where the fuck this cassette tape is. But you know your boy is going to get on it, so let's find that cassette tape. Okay, so I was looking all over the place. I was looking all around the school. I was looking in the school. I went to Yandere Chan's house. I was looking up the nurse's ass. I could not find this cassette tape anywhere, but shout out to the Yandere Simulator WordPress website. They said where the location of this tape was. So we're gonna pick this thing up out of the trash can and we are gonna find out exactly what this thing has inside of it. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tapes for the headmaster? What makes this four-eyed fuck so interesting? How the hell does he get 10 freaking tapes? But you know what? That doesn't matter. We'll save that for another day. Let's listen to Headmaster Tape 1 and let's see what kind of secret juicy details that he didn't want anyone to know that he had to throw it in his own trash can. Uh, let's see. Where to start? Well, I guess I'll start at the beginning. So, yeah, that'd My be a good place. My name is Coach Oshiona, and I've just been chosen to be the Headmaster of Academy High School. To be honest, I'm not sure if I really believe this is happening. I keep pinching myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. You should punch yourself. I mean, the entire nation has been talking about this school for months. The idea of an elite high school that only opens its doors to the most intelligent students in Japan? Uh, a place for the most promising men and women of today to be transformed into the leaders of tomorrow. A school built for the sole purpose of being the most prestigious learning institute in the country. Okay. It's an ambitious undertaking, to say the least. But the thing that shocks everyone the most is that the school is being bankrolled by Psycho Corp. Who would have expected an electronics company to found a school? At first, I thought it was some kind of long-term business plan. Maybe they wanted to build a place to gather the best and brightest students of Japan and train them to be their next generation of employees. But it turns out that I was wrong. Really wrong. And I got to hear the truth straight from Mr. Psycho himself. Yeah, you go, girl. That's right. I just met the Psycho Psycho in person. I'm still shaking. It was like getting to meet Leonardo da Vinci or, or Thomas Edison. I've lost count of how many things he's invented or improved. I, I don't think there's a single product in my home that doesn't have the Psycho logo on it. A man whose ideas and inventions change the world. People like that are only born once a century. Anyway, the reason he built this school, it blew my mind. Okay, this is where it's going to get interesting. It's not something he's ever mentioned in public, but he didn't tell me to keep it a secret either. So, here it is. It's his daughter. It's all for his daughter. 
He cherishes her more than life itself, even more than his multi-billion dollar corporate empire. Huh. He wants to make her dreams come true. So he's building a high school customized to suit her exact tastes. What? The name of the school, the location where it's being constructed, even the exact layout of the building. Everything was chosen by his daughter. Wait, how his old was she when sure the school was made? The best of her life happen at Academy High. She gets to decide who's allowed to enroll, she gets to decide the school's policies, and I'm pretty sure she gets to be the student council president starting from day one. Wow. No questions asked. So, not only will this school be a collection of Japan's most highly qualified teachers and most brilliant students, but it's also a giant, shining monument to a father's love for his daughter. <laughs> it almost brings a tear to my eye. Hold on, let me pause this real quick. Okay, I'm actually really curious about this, so I'm actually gonna check out Megami's profile. But who is this? Ooh la la, she got a suitcase, is she coming to see me? The most important figure in Academy High's history, after graduating, abandoned her responsibilities toward her family, hasn't spoken to her father in three decades, and then she has like a kind of silver hair, kind of similar to Megami's, and that though, that, that's, a, that's just peachy right there. Megami Psycho, okay, let me read all this and let me see if anything interesting pops up. Okay, it says, Megami has been absent from school for nine weeks under mysterious circumstances that she has not disclosed to anyone. She has still managed to keep up with her schoolwork by attending class through a laptop and has also been able to manage the school student council by attending meetings via video call. She is noticeably upset about this, she strongly believes that she should be attending school like a normal student and is resentful of her current situation, although she is not at liberty to explain the reasons for her absence. Megami, unlike all other characters, is fully aware of the fact that there is a dangerous person on school grounds. Once she arrives at school, she will do absolutely everything in her power to protect the school's population. That includes installing security cameras, hiring security guards, and instating a zero tolerance policy for suspicious behavior. Megami clearly has some very important information that would cause her to go to such extreme lengths, but what does she know? Does Psycho Corp have anything to do with it? And more importantly, does Senpai have anything to do with it? Okay, so there's nothing that jumps out at me at Megami's profile. So I think the headmaster might be talking about this person right here because she has the same unique colored hair as Megami. Maybe this is Megami's older sister and Mr. Psycho's first daughter who he tailored the whole school after. Maybe she was the first student council president, but she did something. I don't know what she did. Obviously she left and hasn't spoken to her dad in decades, but that's just my theory. Let's continue with the rest of the tape and let's see what else the headmaster has to say. And I'm going to be the headmaster. I'm still surprised I actually had the courage to send in my application. I, I guess it's because the qualifications they were looking for seemed surprisingly low compared to the qualifications for every other position at the school. I think I know why that is. They had somebody who doesn't have a lot of confidence, which he just admitted basically because he was nervous to even send in his application because he was scared they wouldn't even like consider him. I think the reason why they had like low qualifications for the headmaster position is because he's going to be a puppet, obviously. Like they're going to control him. He's not really going to make the decisions. He's just going to play the role of headmaster, but he's just a puppet within like the psycho corporation. In fact, Mr. Psycho told me I was perfect for the job after just asking me a few questions. Yeah, because he realized you were a pussy. There's a part of me that wonders if his daughter just wants the school's headmaster to have a certain appearance or a certain name or voice or something. I'm not really sure if I got the job because I qualify for it or because I meet some invisible criteria that I'm not aware of. I guess Mr. Psycho could tell I was nervous because he gave me a gift. This portable tape recorder. One of his inventions. He told me that it's therapeutic to record an audio journal when you're feeling overwhelmed. That's the whole reason I'm recording this right now. And I gotta say, it actually worked. I feel much better now. You know, this is kind of fun. It might turn into a habit. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the last thing he said before he left. He called me Headmaster Shuyona. <laughs> It'll be a while before I get used to hearing that. Okay, that was actually pretty interesting. There are nine other Headmaster tapes that we haven't listened to. I think they're actually all going to be interesting as fuck. Let me know what you guys think about that first tape right there. Let me know what you interpreted from it because I'm not like 100% right. 
This is just like a wild guess for me. As a fan of the game, that's my guess. What does what the headmaster said about like Mr. Psycho tailoring the school for his daughter's taste, what does that have to do with anything? Why do you guys think that this specific person got chosen for the headmaster job? And the most important question of all, who is this girl right here? Can I get a name please? But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you guys enjoyed yourself with today's episode, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude!